What you fix in DIYers? It's Walker with DIY.life. And in this episode, we are going to be replacing a battery in an iPhone 8. All right, boom, boom, boom. Replacing the battery in an iPhone 8. Now, my friends, iPhone 8 needed a battery replacement. Um, checking the battery health, it shows that he's at about 74%. I'd recommend doing this if you are anywhere below 75%. I think my iPhone 10 is actually at 72, so it's probably about time for me to do mine as well. However, one thing you're definitely gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna run the battery down to a below at least 25%, and you can see I've got it down to about 21%, and you're gonna wanna power the phone down. The tools that come with the battery replacement kit will be making use out of most of these. They're all pretty basic, but they function quite well. We're gonna be adding a couple. We're gonna be using this tech mat. This thing is great because it uh, gives you a nice clean surface and it also has spaces to hold all your screws and bits. We're also gonna be using an eye opener and we're gonna be using the iFixit anti-clamp. This thing is great for prying open phones, iPads, all those things. It basically pulls things apart. It's the opposite of a clamp. <laughs> okay. Before we get started, Let's put our eye opener in the microwave, get it warmed up for about 30 seconds. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and remove the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone. You'll see them next to the cable connector. And you're just gonna wanna use the small screwdriver, pull out those two screws, and remember to put the screws in the little tray there to keep everything organized so as we move along. We're gonna work from, uh, from right to left so as we remove screws, we'll just add them in the trays right to left. Put your warm eye opener on your phone so that the uh, adhesives that adhe adhere the screen together uh, can loosen up. And we'll go ahead and put the phone in the anti-clamp. Now this thing is actually my first time using it. So it was a little, it was a little backwards and it obviously is all backwards. Left is right and right is left. And, up is down and down is up. So it took me a little while to get used to it, but once you get the clamp clamp down onto the phone, you're gonna to wanna to put your eye opener back on the phone to kind of warm things up, get things nice and loosey-goosey, and then give it a crank. And then as you give it a crank or two, you'll wanna go ahead and start inserting your, your pry tool into your iPhone. Try to lift that edge along the bottom and work along the right. Uh, as you're working along the right hand side of the phone, I want to caution you to be careful not to put the pry tool in too deep because that's where those ribbon cables are that connect the screen and some other components to the phone. So along that right hand side, be extra careful not to put your pry tool in too deep. You can, uh, you can put a mark on your pry tool if, if that helps you uh, keep it out of the way. So once you've, once you've started to get the pry tool in all around the phone, it should pull apart nice and easy with the anti-clamp and the eye opener. So yeah, now we've got this bad boy opened up and that stuff that looks like ooey goo on the edge is actually the waterproofing for the phone. And this is probably a good time to mention that replacing the battery or opening your phone for any reason is going to reduce its waterproofness Actually, it's gonna just kill your waterproofness. So I definitely wouldn't put your phone underwater or submerge it after doing anything like this. It's not gonna be waterproof anymore. So now that we've got the phone open, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove these four screws here on this little metal plate that covers our ribbon cables and connectors. They come out pretty easy. And then once the screws are out, you can remove the plate, set that to the side. You can use your sponger tool and pry up the connector cables. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the camera unit at the top of the phone. Remove those screws. And then once those screws are removed, you can take off the plate and once you have the plate removed, you can unhook the camera ribbon cable and we're off and running. Once again, use your sponger tool, sponger, whatever that thing is called. 
and yes, we have separation. So now you got two pieces of, your, of an iPhone. Now we can pretty much just focus on getting this battery out of this thing and getting it replaced. Okay. There are these pull tabs at the bottom of the battery that you're gonna wanna start picking at and you're gonna wanna remove, you're gonna wanna peel back this adhesive, these little adhesive tabs that hold the adhesive for the battery in place. And it takes a long time, so you might have to pick at them kind of aggressively. But once you get them peeled back, uh, you're good to go. Um, in the video I was watching, it showed that there was tabs on the bottom and the top. However, I couldn't find the tabs at the top of this battery. Phone just doesn't have tabs at the top. In fact, I tried so hard that I, whoops, I poked that sucker right there and caused a little bit of a, an arc, which I wasn't expecting. Now my heart is completely racing and I, oh, dear goodness, I just did it again. Okay, we are in emergency mode. I need to get this battery out of this phone as quickly as possible. So I grab my splunger and I, ooh, man, this thing is just, I'm scared at this point that it's gonna flare up and just turn into a fire. So I need to get this battery out ASAP. Now, I may be using a little bit too much brute force here to get this battery out of, the, out of this phone, but if this thing starts catching on fire, then I don't want it anywhere near this phone and I wanna get this thing out of the house. Okay, whew. Thanks to the eye opener and some aggressive prying, I was able to finally get this battery removed from the phone and I put it in a safe place so that I can uh, take it to the recycler at some point. Okay, now we've got our new phone. We can remove the adhesive protective cover on the back of the adhesive for the new battery and just install our new battery just like that. It just pops right in. Mm, beautiful. Now this one, actually, I made a little bit of a mistake here. I, I put the battery in a little, a little bit high, so I'm trying to push it down here to get it to line up with the battery connector a little bit better. Now, the good thing is, is the battery connector it does have some play in it. It will, it will move a little bit up and down. So I was able to get it to connect just fine, even though I did put the battery in a little bit of a high position. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. All we have to do now is run this thing in reverse and reconnect everything that we just disconnected. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the camera ribbon cable. Let's get that thing put back in place. And I like to use uh, the sponger tool here to kind of press it down. And then I like to give it a little, little check with my finger just to make sure it feels good. And once I'm happy with that, we can replace the plate that covers the ribbon cable there and we'll get the plate in place and we'll go ahead and put in our screws one, two, and three. Okay, now that that's good, we can start putting our other ribbon connectors back on. I'm not exactly sure what this one is, but we'll put it back together. And then this one, I believe, controls the screen for the phone. This one was actually quite tricky to get back into proper position. Every time I thought I had it pressed down, the thing wanted to pop back up. So just make sure that it's good and seated well. Always give it a check with your finger and make sure it feels nice and flat. And once you're happy with it, then we can put the plate back on and replace those four screws. There's screw one. There's screw number two, screw number three, and screw number four. Give them all a little check, make sure they're nice and tight. Once you're happy. All right, now we can close this thing, close this thing up. So close it up and snap it back into place all along the edge of the phone so that it 
feels nice and secure and closed. Just go and check all of the edges all the way around the phone, make sure they're snapping. It should go together quite easy. And then don't forget to replace those two screws at the bottom of the phone that we took out in the very beginning. And the moment of truth, here we go. Hit the power button, cross your fingers, and hope you see an Apple logo. And huzzah, Whoa, we, we have a logo. a logo. We've got an Apple logo. Whew, that looks great. We'll go ahead and use some of our iFixit screensaver, and we'll give this iPhone a cleaning. Get it all nice and shined up before we hand it back over to the owner for him to test it out, make sure all of the functions still work. Have him, you know, check the battery, have him check the camera, make sure everything is in proper working order. And once you do, we're good to go. This is a successful battery replacement. And thanks for watching. And that about does it for this one. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments about replacing the battery in an iPhone 8, please leave them below. And we, well, we'll see you next time.